steps in place, the state will avoid $56 million of damage a year from flooding. This type of stream, this is redelineation. But all this technology can be costly. The more technology you have, the more you're expected to use. So the data behind producing the line on the map has gotten more costly and most local communities cannot afford it. So what we're finding is there needs to be a marriage of uh, the federal government, the state government, and local government. None of us at the state level, or federal level, or regional level have the resources to do all of the things that need to be done. And so by combining our efforts, we can maximize those resources and get a lot more done for the same amount of money and the same amount of staff. Local and state input helps make these partnerships work. The integrity of the drop structure itself will be maintained here. Partnering allows the local agency to have a vested interest in the technical accuracy of the map so that it is produced to the highest standards possible. Through this way, connecting in through the signature bridge, Ultimately, the most important people affected are those that live and work and travel through the floodplains. Partnerships are essential to maximize resources, share data, and avoid duplication of efforts. Back in September of 2000, North Carolina developed a partnership with FEMA to develop these new floodplain maps. We signed a memorandum of agreement to become a cooperating technical partner. Uh, in doing that, we also had 17 other federal agencies and numerous state agencies sign on to the value of this program. FEMA had strengths and we had strengths and we were able to team together. The team effort was um, a big success in, in this project. We at the local level can also benefit because we can use FEMA uh, money to, to help us spread our dollars as well as FEMA using our monies to help spread their dollars. I think the partnering process that FEMA is implementing right now is an excellent process and I think it should be implemented throughout the United States. The city actually went out to do spot elevations on these properties to see if they... Civic and homeowner associations, bankers and developers also need the information gathered from these new maps. When you think about the the risk of flooding. It's not just a matter of engineering and, and better flood control products, um, but it's also an education process to let the individual residents know what to do when it comes to a flood. We're going to start off talking a little bit about um, giving you a project update. Informing our, our residents of, of the risk is one of the best things that we could do. We're creating flood insurance rate maps. Um, what this really shows. Stakeholder meetings are held to get input from the user groups. Everyone's very willing to, to offer up, you know, how they feel about the program and how they feel about the maps. Stakeholder input not only ensures better maps, it helps the buy-in process. We all come from very different backgrounds and we all have valid points and we all need to make sure that when the maps are issued, first and foremost, they're accurate. And if you recall, when Allison came through the first time... She... FEMA's products and services are drawing rave reviews. We're getting a lot of positive feedback. Um, from the new products and services that we're offering. We have added a GIS tool um, that we call Map Search. With the addition of the Map Search functionality on the store, they can key in their address, and right away they can see the map panel they're interested in, click on View, and they will be viewing that map without any wait at all. The future holds even bigger innovations. For North Carolina statewide maps? Okay. And as the map modernization effort moves forward, we will continue to utilize new technologies and develop new products and services and uh, streamline operations in a number of different ways. FEMA has continued to improve within the map store itself. The ability that they have now to print on demand, uh, the ability to look at maps online, all makes it a lot easier for the user to determine the location of a property. I would suggest the other areas in the country who are interested in pursuing this go ahead and contact their regional FEMA office. We have to have better floodplain maps in order to relate to our rivers, flood hazards included, in a better way. We have to be much better informed and I think the map modernization strategy that's been developed by FEMA and those who have advised FEMA allows for a lot of improvements 
in terms of developing the best floodplain maps possible. FEMA's Map Modernization Initiative combines the benefits of technology with the efficiencies of partnering. By leveraging federal, state, and local resources, FEMA's Map Modernization Initiative is helping to build a safer, more secure America.